Bruce from Safari and one of the tough things in this job are the sea trials that we do and just before we say hello there to Stuart uh, what we do on the sea trial is we run out and we're running the alternators we're running Scotty so we left here just on uh, just under two hours ago at 32 percent we're at 78 percent now these this is uh, the battery capacity here is 14.4 kilowatts and you can see we're now up into float voltage but the alternators through Scotty are still putting in to the to uh, three and a half kilowatts in here uh, that you'll see in here we're at 51 volts we're up to 41 there now it's hovering we've got some solar coming in and let's go up and say hello to Stuart up here uh, and find out why Stuart how are you today good thanks Bruce now just tell me everyone will want to know why did you put so much uh, electric power into this uh, cat uh, basically wanted to degas the whole boat so the only gas that we've got now is just straight out to the back barbecue uh, gives me a little bit of peace of mind uh, when I'm asleep uh, that we've got nothing leaking. And you've got a bit of a green touch to you? Or a not? bit of a green touch, so we've basically got an off-grid house uh, back down in Coffs Harbour. Uh, big Tesla Powerwall battery so, and lots of solar, so quite used to the process. All induction cooktops and convection induction steam ovens. And we we'll look to replicate as much of that as we can on the boat. Excellent. We'll go down and have a look at that. It's nicely done downstairs now. And your test the other night, you just, uh, what, how much power did you use the other night when you when you ran your uh, test? Uh, 10, 20% when we were doing just the cooking. Yep. Out of the, out of the house batteries, uh, but yeah. And the so hot water was running the whole hot time? Hot water was running the whole time. We've got two hot water tanks. Uh, 1500 watts each, so that's three kilowatts. And we're here at Coomera and it has been cold, so they're not insulated. So once we go north, I expect we'll get a lot better result. Alrighty, let's go down and have a look at Stuart's kitchen. Like we showed it previously, but for people watching this now, what we did was took the gas out of here and uh, put the uh, double uh, induction on the top. And uh, I recommended this Breville Combi here. Uh, just have a look, you've got all the controls down the side here, it's all automatic. So this Rebel Combi 3 here is a microwave, uh, a, a air fryer and a convection all in one. And then uh, just took out the ice maker that was here and fitted it up with an additional cupboard. And so we've got the fridge and fridge drawer and out here in the locker where the batteries used to be, we're putting in a 43 litre uh, fridge on the back deck there. A bit of will fit in nicely on the back deck. Uh, so we're coming up now, we are probably when we dock here we'll be at 80, which was our prediction and uh, everything's going very, very well, uh, I have to say. What do you think, Stuart? How good's that, eh? It's very good. 